So guys, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, first off, thank you guys for all the support. Last episode was, I wouldn't say it was more of a filler episode, but it was more of like Goku and Piccolo learning how to drive type stuff. Uh, and a lot of like going and collecting stuff. So hopefully we have a lot more action in this one. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys. Best audience ever. This series has been something that I was really looking forward to playing, and I'm glad that the game is actually really good. Uh, so yeah, you guys are awesome. All the likes and stuff, greatly appreciated. And let's get this. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, first off, you guys are awesome. If I get the controls kind of backwards or mash the wrong button occasionally in this video, apologies on that in advance. I was playing the One Punch Man game, which is actually really good, uh, but the controls are a little bit different in the combat and everything. Uh, so, all right, here we go. Go to world map. We're supposed to, I think it's uh, Tien. Is that what we're supposed to be going to? I can't remember. Area info. Oh, let me read the actual scrolling text. I just, Southeast Mountain Area on the world map. Okay, what? Southeast mountain area. But it doesn't say... Oh, he said it's near his house. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. Thank you guys for being supportive of this series, by the way. Alright, story recap. Thanks to the warning given by Trunks, the Z-Warriors able to train accordingly and prepare themselves for the androids set to appear in three years' time. Or in three years. Did my loading screen freeze? Oh, no, we're good. Woo! I think I read that exact one in the last video, but I figured, why not? All right, nice. All right. Let's get it. I mean, it's crazy. I'm playing all these, like, anime games right now. If there was, like, a Gundam Wing game that was good, I would be all over it. Like, I wish... Might cause some trouble later. The closest I ever felt now. like we got to that was Zone of the Enders. I don't know if you guys ever played those games, but... Uh, yeah. I always loved playing those games. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I am ready for this. Goku, a rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you, and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here, but it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training on you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. I say this should not be a close fight at all. I mean, I can go Super Saiyan and end this quickly, I hope. All right, here we go. He is level 36, though. Here we go. Oh, God. Spear bomb time. Let's get it. What? Oh, no. I'm confused. And it used... Oh, my God. Come on. Step out of it. Oh, let me just get on the offensive here. Yo, team is actually strong, man. Oh, no. Not good. Yo, that confusion. Okay, that is a very strong move. Kind of reminds me of when uh, Krillin does that slow, the solar flare or whatever. I might have made the mistake by going Super Saiyan. Really? Every time I go to do something, he... Uh... Okay, let me just... All right, here we go. Uh, I want to do Spirit Bomb because I know it goes in. That's the damage, baby. Let's go. Sorry, Tien. Give you a little bit of hope before I destroy you. I'll tell you right now, and of all the games I've played this year, I mean, this is like one of the old. Really, I missed that. Hey, went back into it. I'll take it. This one was the most surprising just because. I know I'm still playing it, by the way. I know this game's been out for a minute, but. Uh, my goal, honestly, was. I didn't know if I was going to do the whole thing, but people still seem to be enjoying it, so I've just been 
Anytime I play it, I do super long videos, which is not normal of me. This year, I've been kind of doing the whole, like, almost... I, w I went from doing half an hour from 30 minutes to, uh, you know, 40 minutes. The only thing is, I think when I'm doing more videos a day, like when The Last of Us 2 come out, when Doom comes out, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing hour-long videos like I've been doing for this series. I did the same thing for Terminator. Right, here we go. Come on, let's get it. He's evading me. Oh, come on. Oh, this is going to hurt. I can't block that either. It just... I get the stars like Street Fighter. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Still not as strong, obviously, but... This might actually take away my Super Saiyan strength. Oh, God. Gotta keep the key up. I was gonna, some of the fights in the recent videos have been like, I think last video when Vegeta versus Vegeta, and then also when uh, Goku fought Piccolo and Gohan, uh, it was a pretty long fight. Yo, whoa, look at that. <laughs> I always miss that. I don't think I've ever connected that. I actually re-downloaded Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, or Dragon Ball Fighters, as some people call it. Um, uh, Super Saiyan's about to go away. I wanted to keep it the whole time. Ooh, let's get it. Hey, as long as you dodge, you're good to go. Let's just wait for him to do an attack. That should have almost done it right there. All right, it's over. Sorry, dude. I didn't get an S on that. I know I didn't. Yeah, there we go. I'll take an A. <sighs> you never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough. But learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh. You have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! All right, time to move on back. All right. So I will say this, I don't know what's gonna happen after this. I kind of remember parts of the show during these episodes, but a lot of the stuff, I think, for a little while, I think they even had some, like, best of episodes in this, like, during this time period. It's just after Trunks got there and everything, so... Uh, hopefully it kind of picks up after, hopefully this next little mission. We'll see though. I'm just having fun playing this game, kind of re-experiencing it. I think it's funny how they skimmed over the Garlic Jr. saga without even mentioning it. And then, uh, they make you do all this, like, go collect stuff. It's like, I would have actually enjoyed, like, even if it's for 30 minutes, just being there to experience that. Hey, I'm so glad you're back. Well, did you find Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. All right, select beast meat, high-quality wolf meat. I haven't been using a lot of this stuff. I've kind of, without recording, I'll apply some of these, because I kind of want to take my time and research what's the best way to use them. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me. I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. All right. Meanwhile, Vegeta's special training was reaching a f or reaching fever pitch. 
Still got your <laughs> damn pink shirt on. <laughs> if I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. All right, training room is where you can acquire mastery. This is what that was. Okay, this is a special type of know-how that provides special or p powerful effects. Excuse me. I don't know why I got the word special in there. Uh, to acquire mastery, you must complete challenges. As you modify the training room, more challenges will become available, meaning you can acquire more mastery. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. All right, modify. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Need to modify. So you got to go collect materials, basically, to, like, make it better. Okay. Uh, defeat all enemies. Really? Do I have to do this? Is this, like, it's supposed to be part of the mission. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. All right, nice. Uh, all right, talk to Dr. Briefs. Here we go. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. All right, meanwhile, with all those other tasks out of the way, Goku was finally able to begin his training. Nice. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. All right, head toward Gizzard Wasteland on the world map. Where's that at? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right. It's right next to me. We're good. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. All right, go tell Piccolo. You've uh, go tell Piccolo. Whoa, let's calm down our thoughts there, Brad. I have no idea what to expect with these androids. Let me grab this. But I really want to test my moves on them. Wait, what? Oh, it like throws you. Okay. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go back over here. I need to train up and get stronger than ever so I can take on whatever kind of androids come our way. I just like ran through that mountain for no reason. <laughs> You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. Huh. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? Uh, should be good to go. Let's get it. Oh, wow, hold on. You won't be able to collect the Dragon Balls. What do you mean? Oh, for the... Oh, you know what? Uh... Should I go over there and grab that one? It's right in front of me. I'm pretty sure. Let's go over there and grab that one. I think you can get all seven. I wonder, do I actually need them for the... I don't know. Let's go here really quick. Oh, this one must be... I don't think you can go up right here. Or you can, but it's... Is it as simple as just going and picking it up off the ground? Is, is this one right here? If that's the case, then... Uh... 
Okay. I wonder if, like, you've got to get all of them. I don't think it... Obviously, it's not going to change the storyline at all. Uh, if it's as simple as just going and collecting them, it is what it is. Might cause some uh, trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Yeah, that's the only one on this planet. So you... I would basically, if I wanted to go get them right now, I would have to stop what I'm doing and go to the world map, go to each area. I think it shows there's one at Goku's house, there's one there, there's one here. Uh... Shows where they are? I mean, should I go do that? I don't know. Let's see, one there. I don't know, man. I didn't want to waste too much time. There's actually one here. Ooh. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna do a quick, like, Google search to see if you actually need them. I just don't want to, like, mess anything up. Okay, so from what I'm reading online, it says that collect all seven Dragon Balls to get a chance to make a wish. There's wishes you can revive a boss, and you can fight them at any given point. Uh, can give you soul emblems of certain bosses. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, Z-Orbs gives you about 15,000 orb each type. Uh, Zinni, 30,000 of that, and also a rare item if you do that. So, it's not a requirement for the story. Uh, I think next time I have a chance to get them, I will. I, just, I really want to get to Best the action. To deal with this now. I'm pumped up oh my and God. ready to go. Speaking of the action, hold on. I got some enemies here in front of me. I just wanted to like double check and make sure I'm not missing anything absolutely critical. It's more just about getting different things. But the game overall has not been difficult. If it's not going to be difficult for the first two full episodes, only four episodes really, uh, or four story arcs, or whatever you call it. You had the Raditz the Saiyan Saga, then you had uh, the Frieza thing, you know. I don't know. I feel like it's not really been a difficult game. The game gives you enough to level up. Those are just more for bonuses. I might do some side videos or a side thing where I go collect them randomly. And who, who knows? Maybe even I'll, I'll reload an old save file, go back and grab them. Oh, that must be I don't want to waste anything yet. All right, we're done with that. You just don't get anything for fighting basic enemies. All right, let's get moving. I got one Dragon Ball. <laughs> Pretty sure I have another chance to get him later on. How's the training coming along, Goku? All right, let's get it. We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No. We're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off! <clears throat> uh, it's probably nothing. Nice. I don't know when the last time I saw a story result was. Been a while. Yeah, I got a lot of that stuff. I'm gonna take some time before I do the next part and just level up some stuff. That way I don't have to waste like 10 or 15 minutes of a video doing that. Hey Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Nice. All right, the fated day. Take on the mysterious enemy. Oh, well. Yo, look how long we got to go to get there. Well, as long as we're together, we're good. Go I just collect stuff along the way. This game, I'm going to tell you something about it, man. It just, it feels like... I don't know how they could ever make a better Dragon Ball Z game that follows the story. I don't think they could ever do it like this again. Maybe in 20 years from now they could, but like... I need to make one for Dragon Ball Five and Super, a half I feel miles like. Southwest of South City. There it is. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks. 
The child. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. I think I might have skipped the part there. One of the sentences I might have accidentally hit A too fast. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. An explosion in the city! It, is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know, got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go. Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Ha! <laughs> a photograph, maybe. I'm just happy we I finally never made it to this we part. wouldn't be able this to track what, uh, their energy. Talk about well, a pain. Wait, wait, hang on. If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Confused, I'm like navigating all weird. Is it above, above me? Talk to everyone and get more information. Okay, just maybe one of the other guys found them. Send us somebody right here. What? Am I losing my mind? Hold on. Where are you? Hi there. Uh, what's going on? Some sort of an event? No. Um. Load of coconuts. This must be like a side thing. I don't know. Let me just go over here then. Somebody. Oh my god. Oh, it's Piccolo. Never mind. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right. Be on your guard. Or they just fly everywhere, honestly. Hmm. Partly remember this area from the Krillin, show and all that. How are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? Alright, I think what I could do from this point... Let's see, I was over here. Oh, it's on top of the building right here. Never mind, then. Last but not least. Here we go. Tian Shen Han! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look! Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. I skipped past the why is that <laughs> by accident. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? 
Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! I received, I received EXP for no reason. I love it. All right, head toward... Oh, we gotta go to the world map for this too? Interesting. So Android, I think it's 19 and 20. 20 is the older guy, and then... I think, I think that's 19? Unless I'm going the wrong order. Hold on, let me see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I typed in Android in 15 and it said 15 inch tablet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's Android 19 and then Android 20. Okay, yeah. All right, uh, I'm not gonna be able to read this in time. It should pop up again in a minute. Yeah! Here we go. Wait a minute. How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Probably one of my favorite Android fights well, then, what do you in the say? entire, like... See what he's got, huh? Here goes, here, oh, this shouldn't be that bad. Look at the level difference. One of my favorite fights was when Piccolo fought Android 17. That was such a good fight in the show. I hope we get to actually play that. I'm just like destroying Android. <laughs> 19 and 20 didn't have a huge part, anyways. I thought, I thought for a minute the character was froze because they weren't really doing anything. I'm just going in. Oh, come on. So right now I'm getting a free Super Saiyan transformation because it's not taking my key away like it does in like the free parts. The free realm and all that. Instead, instead, my key is going up, which is kind of funny. Oh, 
I wonder if we'll see like the love story between uh, Krillin and Android 18 and all that stuff. No, that's going to be fun. They didn't show Vegeta, Bulma, like, am interacting much other than like the training stuff. I don't remember if they showed it a lot during the show or not, uh, but I, you know, obviously they had trunks, so we'll see. Oh, God. Are you? Oh, God. Oh, my power. Oh, by the way. Ah, oh, stunned. Is this even necessary right now? I don't think it is. A little bit overkill. Whoa. I guess you don't actually have to finish the fight. That was kind of cool. I got an S, though. I'll take it. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Yeah! <laughs> oh! he, he absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! <sighs> absorb the attacks? <clears throat> Give me a break. What, what's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn! Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man! I'm, I'm not doing so hot! What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! W what's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! <laughs> Goku! The heart virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Oh. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta! Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta! Oh, 
Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Let's get it, man. 852,000 experience. Good gracious. All right, Super Saiyan transformation is now available. That's awesome, dude. Approach Android 19 and engage him in battle. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this. That's cool how they how they did that, I guess. But I was hoping we would get to see more of the training. I know I could have done it like manually, but like cutscene wise, because they always showed him like outside of the uh, outside of the area. Such a lower level than Goku right now, though. All right, uh, Gallic Gun, I guess. Oh, I missed it. I feel like 19 is definitely gonna be stronger than Vegeta. Uh, as far as like the Out level goes, but I don't know. Out of my face. I'll be honest, the combat in this game has been something that's been very consistent. I was wondering how they're gonna do like the Super Saiyan and not make you feel overly, you know, strong. I wonder if we're gonna get like Majin Vegeta. Obviously, it'll be a transformation, but uh, I don't know how they're gonna do it because there's still three other slots. So don't shoot any kind of energy. I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, finally see some yellow. I couldn't remember if we were actually doing damage or not. I didn't feel like we were. So I think I kept doing energy attacks by accident. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Problem is, some of the attacks were automatically being shot out. So I don't know how they're gonna... He's the only one I think that can have that. I don't remember if Android 20... I don't remember how that whole thing went. This part of the show was a little bit hazy to me. I think right when Cell gets there, I'll feel like I know exactly everything. But I've been saying that, I think, since, like, the very first video. And I've been... Some stuff I'll kind of be surprised. I'm like, oh, wow, I forgot about that. Other times, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that's going to happen. I guess it's been how long? I was in what? Uh, seventh grade. <laughs> Thirty-three years old. <laughs> oh, I broke that. That's not good. Come on. Is that all you got, baby? Let's get it. Look how much damage you do. That's insane. Should have done that. I stopped myself right after that first one came out. But see, that's like part of the attack now. Almost got it. All those Vegeta is finally saying. <laughs> there we go, nice. I don't know what I got on that. Oh, an S. Let's get it, man. Level up. Take this. Have a taste of Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. Ha! I think I got an A and an S. Oh no, I got double S. I, I couldn't remember. Okay, Goku and Vegeta both. Android 19 is finished, basically. Let's go, man. Alright, Silver Brain Bead. Or Bread, excuse me. I can't speak. I've used up a lot of my power. 
If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplified Android Terror. I love that announcer. That's so cool. All right, Piccolo and the others head out in search of the crafty Android 20. Unfortunately, they were unable to catch him and instead only ended up wasting time. I love how they did that. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Oh, that's right. I think, because I think Android 20 like, was on a hideout or something. I can't remember exactly. All right, talk to everyone and get more information. All right, let's do that. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Kind of reminds me of when they were on uh, Planet Namek and they kept lowering their power level like Go Gohan and then would just try to lo lower it so they could uh, not have to be discovered by Vegeta or Frieza. No? That was such a good There's episode. no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding somewhere. Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. So far, nothing. You gotta pretty much go interact with everyone. Hold on, what's that thing floating in the air? Oh, that's, that must be one of those, like, uh... Random battles. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Alright, last but not least. Oh, that's right, I gotta go all the way down before I can go back up. This game has been so good. I definitely am going to finish it as, you know, obviously just been kind of taking my time. I've had a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, so thank you guys for your patience on this. And I've also been kind of, like, compensating, uh, not uploading every day by making the videos longer. So it's kind of like, rather than doing a 20-minute part every day, I'm doing, like, an hour every three days or something, you know, something like that. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. <laughs> Android, get over here! Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead! <laughs> How did they find me? Alright, nice. Let's get it. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Oh I'll god. Taking your energy. It's all over. Obviously, every time we do these fights, it's always two. It's in sections, basically. 
So we're gonna we're gonna fight with Piccolo and then so somebody else. I can't remember exactly who fights who. I know that Android 17 and Piccolo had an amazing fight. I don't think Android 18 fought too much. I remember her and Krillin had a thing going, you know? I think they might have fought and then he like didn't want to fight her or something. I can't remember exactly, but we're gonna experience it all again. I'm excited. That's right, don't shoot anything. I don't know if I don't know if he can actually absorb like the other one. I think that's what that little spinning thing is. Let's see. Nope, for the damage. Oh no, never mind. Take it back. Alright, that was a lot of help we just So I'm not gonna do any kind of attack. My only worry is maybe the basic energy attacks. I wonder about these though. Let's try it. Oh my god, that completely heals. Alright, I just gotta stay agile here. This fight's been very tough. I don't know if I'm gonna probably edit it down some, but... Yeah, he has this thing where he'll absorb. Once he stops doing that, then you can, uh... That's the one where he grabs you. Anytime he does this, all your key's gone. Some of your health is gone, and he gets almost half a bar back. Absolutely insane. My only chance is to just, like... I just gotta roll. I just gotta keep going at him. I will eliminate. I just gotta keep doing this. Special brain cannon. I drained you of your energy. You should have nothing. Come on, let's go. We can instantly increase our energy during a fight. What you drained was only the tip of the iceberg. Come on, wait for the attack. Alright, I should be able to finish him right here. Longest fight ever. Man, let me tell you. I'll take a B. That's my first B, I think, in the entire game, and it's definitely a tough fight. The absorption and all that was tough. There's Trunks, nice. Wait, these aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Mother! Oh, thank you. Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah, I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway, damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh... That's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, 
That creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Giroux. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giroux's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giroux's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on and tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay. Be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. All right, nice. Hey, we've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. All right, so on that note, I'm going to stop here. This is probably the longest video I've done for this series. It, I'm guessing it's over an hour. I'm not really sure yet after editing, but thank you guys for all the support. Keep it up if you want more of this game. Uh, just in these long video formats, I guess. Uh, we're we're in the, the parts of the series that are my absolute favorite coming up. Android 17 and 18, Android 16, and then you got Cell. Uh, it's just going to be awesome. So thank you guys for everything, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.